Edward's branch line runs from the station at the bottom of Gordon's Hill. It passes an orchard where Trevor's attraction engine lives, and then goes along the coast to a port where the twin tank engines Bill and Ben live. Edward and Boko run this line, and Donald and Douglas, the Scottish twins, help them when things are busy. They all work happily together. The trains don't need to run fast, but it is not often that they keep the big engines waiting. Usually, it's the big engines who are late. One morning, James was delayed at the big station, and Edward had to wait for him. When at last he could start, he wanted to hurry to make up for lost time. Steady, Edward, cautioned his driver. I know we're late, but an accident will make us even later. Edward slowed, but as he approached the next station, his wheels jolted badly at some points. When Edward had stopped at the platform, the fireman checked him all over. But everything seemed to be in order. Edward set off again. He was beginning to gain speed when he began to feel funny. My front's all wobbly, he complained. Scarcely had he said it when the firemen saw something bumping along the line beside them. Gemini Christmas, look at that! He exclaimed. Quickly, the driver crossed the cab, and both men watched in horror as a couple of round metal objects rolled alongside them like hoops. After a while, they hit a stone and bounced away into a field. Very carefully, the driver applied the brakes and Edward came safely to a halt. He was glad because his front now felt very loose. The driver and fireman climbed down and came to look at his wheels. There was no doubt what the trouble was. Your entire bogey is broken off, said the driver. My goodness, we were on a straight track and not going too fast. There could have been a nasty accident. A little later, Sir Topham Hatt's telephone rang. He listened in astonishment. What'd you say? A set of engines wheels in your cabbages? I quite agree. It must have been a great surprise. You think they could be Edwards? Is he all right? Thank you. I'll see to it at once. <sighs> Bless my soul, he said to himself. It's a good thing Edward didn't end up in the cabbages himself. Next day, Boko helped Edward to the works. Edward's wheels, broken off from under the front of his frame, but otherwise undamaged, traveled in his tender. So Topham Hat came to see him. You had your lucky escape, Edward, he said. But there's no harm, John. I just hope we can get you mended before the Golden Jubilee celebrations. Oh, and by the way, the farmer says if your driver wants cabbages in future, there are much safer ways of cutting them. Oh dear, he thought to himself as he walked towards his car. First Thomas's branch line and now Edward's wheels. Whatever could go wrong next?